Now I'm fully aware that Undoom has made a video response to this person. For some of you who do not know who his Undoom is, allow me to explain in a nutshell. Basically, he's just like Slenderman without the scary stuff, and he tackles feminists and crazy bigoted Christians like Josh Fernstein. And he's a smart and pretty cool guy, so I, check, so I suggest you check him out. Now, under normal circumstances, I would respond to the original video. However, I don't have the original video with me, nor is it on YouTube, so good luck finding the original video. However, thanks to the power of video editing, I can still respond to this person and show you how batshit insane feminists can be. I hear voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand. I'm talking about an article that I read on CNN. I will have it linked down below. Uh, it's this woman named Roxanne Jones who wrote an article about how she tells her son and his friends to get a woman, a girl, to send a text saying yes before they have sex to prove their innocence in cases of rape allegations. Now keep in mind the video that I'm responding to was edited by Undoom, so basically I'm responding to Undoom's video. I didn't add the music, so keep that in mind. Anyway, it seems right to send texts to each other to consent to sex. So, I don't see how that's a problem. And I have a couple issues with this article. There were a couple things that she says, starting out with the very first line, which I have them pulled up on my computer right here. So she says, watch out for the stupid girls, I tell my son, they're trouble. You know the type, the party girls, the girls who thrive on attention. The girls who will do anything to get a guy to notice them. So she's basically saying that he should date someone who is smart, if not someone who's at least have the intelligence to tell the difference between a Wii remote and a fucking dildo. They'll even pretend that you raped them just to get the attention. You act like women never lied about getting raped. I can give you one example. Remember Mattress Girl, everyone? Not to mention that The Amazing Atheist has made a video on the top 10 false rape accusations. But let me guess, this is just a very small minority. I filled my son's duffel bag with about 300 condoms and told him to watch out for party girls, but have fun. Meet new people, but stay focused on academics. Now this doesn't have so much to do with the topic of the article as I think it's really contradictory to give your son 300 condoms and expect him to stay focused on academics and not use them on these stupid party girls. How is that contradictory? The mother doesn't expect him to be some sort of super player and have sex with many girls as he wants, but she wants her son to remain safe and not impregnate a woman or get any diseases. This is a teenager we're talking about. Hell, we're, even during my teens I knew this. Never have sex with a girl unless she sent you a text that proves the sexual relationship is consensual. In a perfect world, this could work. In a perfect world? What do you mean by that? Is it the perfect world you're thinking of where men are just slaves to women? But I think that in the world that we do happen to live in, this is very flawed. I just think it's way too easy for someone else to take their phone and send a text to make it look like this was a consensual relationship when it wasn't. What? Oh, okay. So someone basically goes on your phone and send a text message to themselves. Okay, let's put that into consideration. Today, modern phones have password locks and even fingerprint locks. So chances of that happening is very low. But I am very curious on what you consider to be consensual. Especially if the girl is intoxicated, that makes it even easier. But even if they're not, you know, like the guy could just... The guy could steal her phone and put it in there, like pickpocket it out of her purse or whatever. He could just say, hey, let me give you my number. Put it in there or maybe not even put it in there and just send a text that says yes. And then it looks like the relationship was consensual when it actually wasn't. Are you seriously suggesting that these rapists just planned out everything to make sure the sex was consensual? They're not fucking Sherlock Holmes where these people can just figure out everything by just thinking ahead. Most rape that happens isn't really planned ahead. It just happens. And again, most phones have lock systems. So unless this guy's a master hacker that can hack phones in a matter of seconds, there is no way in the world this could ever happen. 
but we need to do more work to teach our daughters that women also have an equal personal responsibility to respect their bodies. And true equality means that we are also held accountable for our actions. And this just really bothered me because... What? Women holding responsibility for their own actions? <gasps> That's outrageous! Number of sexual partners you've had if you're a virgin. Number of sexual partners you've had if you're a virgin. Number of sexual partners you've had if you're a virgin. Number of sexual partners you've had if you're a virgin. Holy fuck is this wrong? Do you not know what a virgin is? Wow! I met some very stupid people, but you take the cake! Number of times you've had sex, those kinds of things should not matter for your self-respect or how much other people respect you. Yeah, but girls shouldn't have to have any responsibility for their own actions whatsoever. You know, you're, if the girl just decides to take the car and decides to drive recklessly, it's not the girl's fault that the car crashed into a wall, it's the car's fault that the car crashed to the wall. Nobody wants to be a stupid girl. It's time for us girls to smarten up. Basically what she's saying is smarten up girls, you go out and have fun and you party and you get raped because of it and it's your fault. Where the fuck do you get this idea? She's not saying smart girls should go out and party and get raped. Hell, she even stated the type of girls who he should avoid. Watch out for the stupid girls, I tell my son. They're trouble. You know the type. The party girls, the girls who thrive on attention. The girls who will do anything to get a guy to notice them. She is saying that the smarter girls are the ones who don't go out partying, drinking just to get attention. She, he should go after not the stereotypical super bookworm type, but just the average girl who isn't an attention whore. Like the mattress girl. Don't go out and have fun and party and do whatever you want because you'll just end up accusing men of rape when they're innocent. Wow, that's a pretty nice straw man you got. Where you get it from, the 99 cent store? So, my problems with this article is putting the blame on the woman for being raped. So basically, you're complaining about how women should not be aware of their own actions and become a little bit more smarter and be more aware of their surroundings? You're calling them stupid, you're calling out party girls, and all sorts of things like that. Yes, in the article it does say that women do not ask to be raped, but I definitely get the tone from this article that it is the woman's fault, which really, really bothers me. And you get this feeling because... Feminist instincts, apparently. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>